You see pic this picture right there? This is me. Because if you know my story, you know that I did not have a great background in public speaking and presentations. No, I did not. In fact, growing up, I had tremendous amount of challenges with public speaking and presentations because if you know my story, you know that I was not, I was not born in a great, uh, amazing environment of communication and public speaking. No, I was born in a small town called Shiliguri um, and I was... Uh, I studied in a Bengali medium government school. I grew up in a middle class family. So growing up, I did not have a lot of confidence. In fact, this picture was when I was about 11, 12 year old. This is, this is my mother. This is my grandmom who uh, recently passed away. And one of the things people often ask me is, Bishal, do I need to be you know, born as a speaker? It's kind of like asking, do I need to be a born tennis player? Most often the answer is no, because the reality is that I often say this, say this to my all clients, the project managers, the leaders, the CEOs who come to my program for coaching and training to get some help to improve their confidence. I often tell them that confidence is not born, confidence is made. So in this video, you are going to receive seven modern rules, seven modern rules for delivering confident presentations. Now, I gotta tell you right now, most of these tips, you don't find it on the internet. And even if you do find one or two, they don't tell you how to actually execute it. But in today's session, you are gonna find the practical step by step know how about exactly how to implement this seven modern rules of confident presentations and how they how to integrate them into your presentation starting from tomorrow i can see people are joining uh, if you want to comment below tell me exactly where you're watching it from which city and it's going to be a great conversation because we are building a community here you are here because you want to improve your communication skills you want to improve your confidence and you want to improve your life so you can receive a better income, create deeper influence, and make a deep impact. So, the first rule the, out of the seven modern rules of delivering confident presentations is, that, is this. You never want to start boring. Write this down. Never start boring. Now, the reason I say that is I often see a lot of IT professionals, project managers, senior leaders, bankers, chartered accountants, a lot of the people who come to me for coaching. In the beginning, I see the mistake they, they make is they actually give very boring introduction about themselves. It's kind of like, good morning, happy to be here. Isn't this a great? No, don't start boring because write this down. You never get a second chance to make up first impression. So if you want to make a great first impression, never start your presentation in a boring manner because boring is bad. All right. That's the first one. The second modern rule of delivering confident presentations is you want to lead with confidence, lead with confidence. And here's what I mean by that. And here's what it means to you. Remember that people get attracted to confidence. Like I said in the first rule, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. So if you really want to give confident presentations, and if you really want people to um, see you as a magnetic leader, as an authority, so that you are not just an expert in your field, you are just the confident expert. You are the expert who's confident, you wanna lead with confidence. So you just have a few seconds to make that thing, um, and it generally starts before you even get to that presentation before you start your presentation. So the moment your name is announced in the meeting and you're going to that stage or that platform in, you know, in that meeting room of 12 people or in front of the stage, um, in the, on the stage in front of 5,000 people, wherever, the moment you go, right, before you start speaking, 10 seconds before that, the moment you go, that also is a great, great learning style or a moment of showing confidence because many times people go like, Oh my God, what is my point? Uh, hey everybody, see that is the time that people already have judged you. So what you wanna do is you wanna run with confidence, you wanna lead with confidence, shake the hand of the person introducing you, the boss or whoever it, it is, and then you wanna start speaking with a smile on your face, with an amazing power and enthusiasm because as my mentor Jeremy says, a little enthusiasm 
goes a long way. A little enthusiasm goes a long way. So if you are enthusiastic about your topic, about what you're speaking, people can sense it. And that's when people will be engaged in your conversations. Just like I, whenever I speak, people often come to me and say, Bishal, how do you get so much energy? How do you get so much enthusiasm? It's because I believe in my message. The question is, do you believe in your message? Because if you do, you will feel that confidence and you will want to lead with that confidence. All right, the third rule, write this down, is to provide third party quotations. Third party data or third party quotations. And what I mean by that, and this is very interesting, this is one of the rules if you um, study Robert Cialdini and his concepts of influence and persuasion and the psychology of how people think, one of those principles is the principle of social proof, meaning people follow the followed. Whoever is followed, people want to follow that. So whenever you are saying something, instead of just telling your view, say, by the way, this is the language pattern, okay? You ready? If you are ready, show me some likes and loves on this so I can show you exactly how to do this. Thank you. Yes, amazing, 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 great. What you want to do is you want to share and the language pattern you say is, by the way, not only I believe it, but here is an amazing personality and who said exactly this, watch it out. And then you show something, either a quotation or a video or a case study or a testimony. You want to show that because remember, people believe not what they hear, people believe what they see. When they watch it, they believe it more because now it gets into their mind, it gets into their head and they're like, wow, yeah, that's true. That's true. It's a third party testimony. It's a third party data. So for example, if you're giving a project presentation, all right, instead of talking about just what you feel about the project, say, by the way, here is what our clients say about this project. Here is what our previous clients said about the project. Here is what my current team members are saying about this project. Are you getting me? Are you engaged right now? If you are, if you're watching this video, I can see a lot of you. Just put the um, share button below and share this video with somebody who needs to hear the seven modern rules of delivering confident presentations. Because when you share, I know that you care. That's when you become an amazing personality. When you share your knowledge, share your wisdom, share the good stuff so people can be benefited with your information that you are actually getting for, from me by being right here on this video, all right? So provide third party code. The next one is you wanna engage the audience in the first 30 seconds. Write this down, you wanna engage the audience in the first 30 seconds. How many seconds? How many seconds? 30 seconds. Put it in the comment, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. You wanna put it on, okay? Now the reason I say that, you wanna put it on 30 seconds, or you wanna, engage the audience in 30 seconds is because if you don't engage your audience in first 30 seconds, you will never have them back. Never. Never. Because they'll be gone. Okay. I want you to, uh, one of my mentors, uh, Malakayo often uh, talks about this, that you want to arrest the attention of your audience. Arrest the attention of your audience. There are different ways to do that. You know, we talk about it in my program, the Confident Expert Live Experience, or whenever I'm coaching somebody into our group training, or when I'm mentoring somebody one-on-one, -on -one, I often take them through this entire process about exactly how to do that. There are five things exactly you want to accomplish within the first 30 seconds of your presentation. You want to provide, and, and two of them, I don't have time to talk about all the five things, but two of them is you want to uh, brand your positioning and you want to create an intrigue curiosity. Okay, so if you don't have that curiosity factor in your presentation, people will not watch your presentation for a long time. All right, you want to position yourself so that they see you as an expert, they see you as an authority, and that's when they will actually keep watching you, keep listening to you, keep taking notes, and that's exactly what is very, very important. Okay, so write this down um, that you want to um, connect with your audience in the first 30 seconds. The next one is all about using powerful body language powerful body language i'm not just talking about just body language i'm talking about using powerful um, body language 
and uh, you know people often say bishal i don't know what to you know how to how to use my body language and everything and that's that's right many people don't know how to use the body language the right way and that's why uh, this is one of the things we go through very very in depth and practically in our program the confident expert live experience which is by the way not for everybody i got to tell you right now because my courses are actually not for everybody i'm very very picky and choosy about who i work with who i take into my program um because the people that i choose are generally successful uh, they are already making things happen they are successful professionals they have great knowledge great information great experience in their field but they are lacking that final level of confidence um, and once they crack that code their 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 career is going to skyrocket their income is going to skyrocket more people are going to know about them they'll be seen as the industry icon and uh, we talk uh, talk about body language a lot there but let me give you some tips right now number one, remember that whenever you're using body language you want to have an open body language all right open hands open gestures now the reason i say that is because many times people don't use open body body gesture because they are afraid they they have no idea exactly how to use positive body language so let me fix this so I, you can see my body language a bit uh when people don't know many times what they do is that they don't know where to put their hands so they i'll just quickly show you so they they use their hands like this oh you know hey everybody how is it doing or they put the hand inside their um inside their pockets and they're like oh how are you doing no if you want to use body language to the maximum impact you want to have open body gesture open body language so that people can see you they can view you and they can be um, they can feel your expertise in the most effective and powerful manner okay now just like i'm i'm having a hard time here fixing this damn video with the with the holder of it but you have to understand that this is exactly what's going to happen many times in your presentation you're doing something and you know the ppt goes off or the something goes off and you have to take some decision on the spot at that time you know instead of being afraid oh my god it went off you want to take like i i just unfixed the i took the mobile phone off and i took it in my hand like that's exactly what you got to do in, in any presentation when things don't go right don't go with the wrong things you want to do the right thing okay so use body language to create powerful powerful uh, connection so don't use you know close body language use it another thing is smile you want to smile why do you want to smile because people love people that smile so you, when you have a smile on your face it doesn't have to be like that air hostess fake smile no if you have a gentle smile on your face and and remember you know smile is often not in the cheeks it's in the eyes basically uh, people you instead of doing this you want to have a little bit of smile on your eyes and people can feel uh, that you are genuine and you really really care okay the next one is all about how you use um humor in your presentation because everybody loves to laugh if you love to laugh just put down yes i love to laugh okay put down in the comments because people love humor right yeah 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 exactly people love to laugh they love to um be a part of something so any time you can use humor in your business communication in your business presentation even if it's a project presentation even if it's a technical presentation people love that people love hearing about that people love to laugh people love to be a part of something that is funny because in the world that we live in um, everybody is trying to be serious oh my god i got to be a serious guy i got to be a serious guy no but if you use it to your advantage humor uh, people will actually love you for that because they will see you as an authority they will see your uh, heart they will see that you really can engage people and it's going to be um, amazing so that's the sixth tip um, sixth modern rule of delivering confident presentation and the last one is all about connection so write this down connect with your audience throughout and i often have a saying that public speaking is not about perfection it's all about connection so how do you connect with an audience how do you connect with an audience when you are speaking to you know senior managers or leaders because that's different than how you connect with um you know clients that's whole different game altogether so how do you do that 
Um, we talk more about it in our program, the Confident Expert Live Experience. But I, and, and if you want to know more about it, come to my page. Uh, go to bishalsarkar.com. That's bishalsarkar.com. And get more information. You'll, you'll have so much of great videos, tips, tools, ideas we have there for you to support you. And then reach out to one of my team members, and we'll be happy to see if you qualify to be in our program. All right? So uh, these are the seven tips, man. You know, just do this. Don't be boring. Um, have the right body language, use the right words, use humor. Uh, it'll be very, very beneficial for you if you watch the video training one more time. Live, this live stream, watch it one more time. Watch it, like this video, share with somebody um, because it's going to be great for you. If you're watching it on phone, watch it one more time and get the tips one more time. And it's, it's not about just learning. It's about actually integrating in your life. So do that and it's going to be amazing for you. Um, you know, when I look at my life today, I see where I came from and where I am and where I'm going in my life. And I feel so grateful in my life because I came from a small town. You know, like I said in Shiliguri, I studied in a Bengali medium government school. I grew up in a middle class family, but that did not stop me today from being the highest paid public speaker in India. It did not stop me from growing in my career before I became a speaker, uh, when I was working for Business Standard First Source. It didn't stop me from all that. It didn't stop me from, um, you know, growing my income and taking better care of my family. All happened because I decided to become a modern man who's a confident speaker. And so can you do that. You have spent probably years and years and years gathering the knowledge and the experience and the information that you have about your field. Don't you think it's the time for you to upgrade your confidence level? Don't you think if you upgrade your confidence level, you will actually make more impact? Don't you think if you make more impact, you'll actually make more money because you'll get more promotion, you'll be known more, you'll get more recognized? How much longer are you willing to wait, wait, wait and wait? Stop waiting. Go to bishalsarkar.com, get the information, apply for the program, and it's going to be amazing for you. I want to see you very soon. My name is Bishal Sarkar, always reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection. It's all about connection.